Alright y'all, welcome back to the video. You guys see from the title and thumbnail, it's another wash day. And that's just the thing about being up here. As soon as I wash these machines, they're honestly probably dirty that night or the next day. That's just the way it goes around here. But we keep our stuff clean and we want to respect everyone's stuff. So we got to get it washed. We got to get it looking good, put back in the shop. So next time someone does use it, you wouldn't want to sit on a muddy seat. We want them to look good. So that's why we got to keep this routine and keep washing them. And guys, I don't mind doing it. I'm outside spraying mud off. It's actually kind of satisfying. So that's what we're going to do today. I don't even know what we have to wash. And then we have the X3, the Defender, a couple golf carts, the big Audi, the small Audi, maybe even the Honda, the pit bikes, pretty much all of them. So with that being said, let's get the work. I forgot one thing. We actually have a new power washer at the BP compound. The last three we've had, we literally can go maybe anywhere from a month to three months using it because we used it so much. So we decided to try to get something new. Let me show you guys a new unit. Had a hundred bucks more, 3,000 PSI. Hopefully this one does pretty good. Um, the old, the old Honda with the Craftsman. Now Hondas run forever. So let's go ahead and see what she's got. That's no good. This one's got a flat tire. I gotta let Braden know. I shouldn't really probably drove it with the rim, but it's ready here now. Let's give her a wash and put her back.
All right, y'all, we got everything washed up for today. So you guys, everything that I've done, and you would think that it's like, it's like 95 degrees out, power washing would, would cool you down. It doesn't, it's too hot as shit out here. Why we need that shop, y'all, because there's just so much stuff out here. Once we have a place to put it over there, we don't have to wash stuff and just kind of leave it outside, but I wanted to hit everything. All the golf carts are looking good. The pain the butt thing about washing everything is that if I do it in the driveway, there's so much mud, you have to fully wash the whole entire driveway. Or you do it in the grass, but you start making water out here, then the grass and all the mud and dirt sticks to it as I pull it up front. So either way, every single time I wash something, I have to pretty much wash everything again to put it back in here. So uh, let's go ahead and knock that out. So everything is pulling in, everything's looking good. Brayden just threw some SC1 on, just giving that nice final little touch up. Uh, today was good, it was hot, but we pushed through, we got everything washed. I seem to enjoy these little wash videos, so that's why I'll keep on doing them, because as soon as something's washed, pretty much either that night or the next day, it's back dirty. So that's the thing I do while I'm over here, and like if I can film it and you guys want to see it, I'm going to keep doing it. So list some ideas, anything else you guys want to see. I really appreciate you watching. Until next time, Litton Bass TV. This is the end of the video. I just wanted to mention this. The real ones would be hanging out to the very, very end. We're not through with the outro. I just didn't get to mention this earlier. I need y'all's opinion. Well, it might be something you don't know about me. I'm very determined with everything I do. I don't like to like let a lot of stuff like kind of bring me down. I am an outsider being up here at the BP compound. I don't ride these things. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not into it and even like the X3 rides, guys. Like I'm shit in my absolute pants. I, I, I'm scared to death. I'm not in control of what's going on. They're dangerous. They go quick. Trust me and all, but um, not being in control of something, it gets kind of scary. So that's that. But being up here, I'm pushing myself to do more and more, guys. I'm a hunter. I'm a fisherman. I, I work on trucks. That's what I do. Um, I want to get y'all's opinion on this really quick. You guys have been sitting. I've been trying to get on some stuff and write it. I wanted to hop on here really quick. We're gonna we're gonna walk through all this stuff really quick, and I want you guys just to get a look at. You guys know what, what Braden has, but I want you to get a look at something and let me know what you think. You guys know there's the X3, there's the Outlander, there's the Honda, Braden's dirt bike. You got the pit bikes. You got the mini four wheelers. You got the the big Audi, the Defender, and then some other dirt bikes. Before I said I'm gonna say the big Audi's out of the limit. Braden spent a lot of money on that thing, along all of his equipment, but uh, I'm not touching that thing. There's a lot of stuff you gotta do with it, and I'm not, I'm not messing that up. That was his, uh, his, his dream four wheeler, and he got it, and it's a bad unit right now, and I ain't screwing nothing up. But I've been trying to push myself to ride more and to do more. I wanted to hop on here and ask you guys, what do you think I should try to jump on next? Trying to ride more stuff, and I want to be completely honest with you, I've not jumped on the pit bike since my last video, but I've read all the comments, you guys were making some good points, but I absolutely hate those things, and same with the big dirt bikes, I probably like won't be doing too much, unless you guys truly want to see it, I, I'll give everything a shot, but out of everything I just named, what, what do you guys want to see me jump on next? I'm trying to start all of them and turn them on and ride them around a little bit, I'm washing them, I'm moving them around, but if you guys actually want to see me jump on something again, Give it another try. Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, I don't, like lot, I don't like to let a lot of stuff bring me down. And even if I'm, if it's out of my limits, I'll still try it for you guys so I can learn. Because you won't, you won't learn something if you don't get on it. So uh, at least that's the way I am. So uh, we're wrapping this video up now. Leave in the comments down below. The real OGs will be watching this to the end. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, Little Bass TV.